Hi everyone! Welcome back to our final video about how do things move across the membrane and it's gonna be about bulk transport. Earlier we've seen passive and active transports which are great if you want to move one or two molecules at a time. But for very large cargo the cell need to use what's called bulk transport and it comes in two flavor, endocytosis and exocytosis. Endocytosis is the process of taking large things in and to do so the cell will kind of fuse with its cargo. In other words, the cell membrane wraps around a large molecule to internalize or engulf it. As a result, it will create what is called a vesicle or a vacuole. There are three different forms of endocytosis. One is called phagocytosis, where the prefix phago means to eat. So phagocytosis is literally about cell eating. The second one is called pinocytosis, where the prefix pino comes from the Greek to drink. So pinocytosis is literally about cell drinking fluids with all the solutes that it contains. And thirdly, we have receptor-mediated endocytosis. And that's when the cell can be very picky about what's coming in. And to do so, a little receptor at the cell surface will bind to a specific cargo before engulfing it. Okay, endocytosis is pretty cool and allow the cell to take in liquids or large solid cargo and sometimes the cell can even be picky about the content of the cargo. But that's not the only type of bulk transport a cell can perform. In fact, the reverse direction is also possible and it is called exocytosis where exo means exit or external. In exocytosis the vesicle instead of moving towards the inside is moving toward the outside of the cell until it fuses with the membrane and releases its content on the outside. Exocytosis is particularly important to get rid of cell waste. It's a bit like when you go to the bathroom. But it also allows the cell to export valuable material freshly made. And that's a bit like when Australia would export Tim Tam or Vegemite to another country. With that, we are finished with our overview of bulk transport as well as transport in general, including passive and active. I hope you enjoyed it and thanks for watching.